Welcome to the video on the segment addition postulate. In this video, I'm going to introduce this postulate, tell you what it's all about, and go through four examples. So if you watch my video on the angle addition postulate, you remember that a postulate is basically just a rule or a law that we can sort of accept without proof. Something in math that we use to prove other things. If we want to prove a theorem, oftentimes we'll have to use postulates. And this is a really basic one. So its name will apply that of course we're going to do some addition. <clears throat> so in this case we have the red segment which is of course right here and the blue segment they're sort of adjacent to each other they have a point in common point B and let's say that if we were trying to find the length of segment AC the whole thing all right, we would write that. The notation is we don't put a, a line over it. That would just be line segment AC. In order to sort of denote the length of segment AC, we literally just write capital A, capital C. Or you can reverse the letter CA. is fine. But we don't put that, letter, that little line above it. And when that line is missing, then we literally mean the length of. So the length of segment AC is equal to red plus blue. The length of segment AB plus the length of segment BC. And that right there is our segment addition postulate. It's that simple. All right, in theory, it basically just means that, you know, if you have a big segment, it is the sum of its parts. Pretty simple. Let's try a couple here. We'll go uh, increasing complexity number one. In number one, we have the same diagram. Segment AC is, uh, is formed up from a red and a blue segment. There's a point B in the middle here, or not necessarily in the middle, but right in here. This is seven centimeters, and this is nine centimeters. So I'm just gonna mark down those pieces of given information inside my diagram. The directions ask me to find the length of segment AC, and I know that the length of segment AC is equal to the sum of AB plus BC. And we know, of course, that this is 7 and this is 9. So the length of segment AC is 16 centimeters. Pretty simple. Number 2. In number two, we're going to look at a little bit more of a complicated example. It's not too challenging, but it's different than number one. The given information is that the entire segment is 11 inches, and the orange segment, I color coded these so we can see a little bit easier. The orange segment is five inches. And the question is asking you to find the length of the green segment. Uh, the green segment is sort of what we're looking for here. All right, in order to do that, we're going to write down our segment addition postulate. It says the whole segment is equal to the sum of the smaller segments that sort of make that sort of make it up, right? Sort of form that big segment. And we just plug in our numbers. This time, the number here is 11. We know that segment VT is five. Segment TQ we are looking for. That's the one that's missing. So I'll just put, you can leave it as TQ or you can put your favorite variable in there. It's up to you. So 11 is equal to 5 plus X. We're going to subtract 5 from both sides and get 6 is equal to our X value. Our X value is the length of segment TQ. So this right here is 6 inches. And we can check that nice and neat. 5 plus 6 is 11. So in this case, really, we're, if you think about it, we're sort of doing the we're sort of doing subtraction here. All right, we still call it the segment addition postulate, even though it is subtraction. Number three. Number three, we have a little bit of algebra here. <clears throat> Our given information is listed right here, and it's giving us the fact that the yellow is x plus three, the purple is x minus ten. And the entire thing is 31. 
and our job is to find x. All right, so the whole thing, the length of segment PR is equal to the length of segment PW plus the length of segment WR. The length of segment PR is given to be 31. The length of segment PW is given as this algebraic expression, and the length of segment WR is given as this algebraic expression. So we're going to go 31 is equal to 2x minus 7. We'll combine like terms, combine constants. We're going to add 7 to both sides and get 38. And we're going to divide by 2. So x is 19. <clears throat> if you want to check that, it might be a good idea to check to make sure that these numbers sort of make sense. If we put the x value here, 19 plus 3, that tells me that the length of segment PW is 22. If we put that 19 right here, we can see that the purple segment is 9 meters. Right, and the reason I do that is just to make sure that they kind of look reasonably, look like they sort of reasonably uh, can make sense, right? We want answers that make sense for us visually. All right, in my estimation, 9 as the purple segment and 22 as the yellow segment visually makes some sense. All right, it's kind of drawn to scale. A lot of these aren't going to be perfectly drawn to scale, but uh, my point of, of all this is if you get a number like, if you get like 29 down here and 22 up here, I would probably check to make sure that that's right because the yellow in my in visual inspection here, the yellow looks like it's longer than the purple. So it might be a good idea to check to make sure that things sort of add up and everything fits together. So we have 22 and 9. Of course, if you add those two together, 22 plus 9 is 31. So that works out. Last one. This is the most complicated of the four. It involves three different segments, blue, red, and green. <clears throat> so we'll just put those values in here. The length of segment JK is 6X. The length of segment KL is X plus 3. And the length of segment LM is 10X minus 2. And the whole segment is 15 x plus 5. And our job is to find x. We're going to take it a step further and actually plug stuff back in at the end just to make sure everything fits together. So here we go. The whole thing, the length of segment JM is equal to the blue plus the red plus the green. So we have 15x plus 5 is equal to 6x plus x plus 3 plus 10x minus 2. Alright, the big thing, 15x plus 5, is basically just the sum of its components. All these smaller segments all add up to be 15x plus 5. And we just kind of solve this thing. It's a little bit of algebra here. So we have 6x plus 1x is 7x, plus 10 is 17x, and 3 minus 2 is positive 1. I have variables on both sides. I'm going to leave my bigger x term on the right and move my smaller x term over to it by the inverse. So 15x minus 15x cancel, leaving us with 5 is equal to 17 minus 15 is 2x plus 1. I'll bring it over here. 5 is equal to 2x plus 1. I'm going to subtract 1, and I'm going to get x is 2. x is 2. And that is our answer, but we're really good students, so we're going to make sure that that actually makes sense. In other words, if we were to plug this back in here, do these numbers sort of visually make sense to us? So let's check this. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to put... 2 right here. 6 times 2 is 12. 2 plus 3 is 5. So right away it looks pretty good. The red is 5, the blue is 12. That looks like it makes sense. The green is, let's see, 10 times 2 is 20, minus 2 is 18. The green is bigger than the blue. That makes sense to me. Up here, 15 times 2 is 30 
30 plus 5 is 35. So a really good way to check is to make sure once we have our concrete numbers, 12 plus 5 plus 18, does that equal 35? So 12 plus 5 is 17, plus 18 is 35. So yes, that makes sense. That works out for us. That means that our answer of x equals 2 is good to go. So there you go, four examples on the segment addition postulate. And I hope this helped you and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Thanks for watching.